This is Uthred Ronaldson, and this is Conflict of Nations World War III, Day 1, and I am playing as the Philippines. Well, it's been a long time since uh, I visited this game. And uh, it's also been three months since my last uh, video. Um, the last video that I posted was uh, my uh, game with uh, Conflict of, uh, with my uh, Call of War game as Peru. So it has been three months since I uh, recently posted uh, a video about the game. So I had to stop because um, I've been too busy with uh, real life. So I wasn't able to um, capture some of the, I wasn't able to complete my previous video. Um, in uh, Call of War. Uh, that video, just for those who are watching the this uh, uh, my videos, um, that episode with Peru. Um, it ended. It ended in a in a defeat against France. But that is fine because uh, I didn't really play it, uh, play that well. And uh, Peru was a, a small country. Um, if you will play the historical uh, world map. And also, I had a uh, video before for Conflict of Nations wherein I played as Indonesia. And that game also resulted in a uh, defeat against um, a coalition led by Germany. A veteran player, so it was a defeat, but uh, it was a it was a nice game. I had to quit because the thing is, um, you know, sometimes uh, a war can be decided by uh, certain battles, and I was defeated, and uh, um, I attacked. I tried to attack him in the, the Mediterranean and uh, it resulted in a defeat. My uh, fleet of 15 ships was annihilated. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I'm not sure if that's in the recording, but uh, you can check my previous videos if you wish to check on it. But uh, yeah, I had to quit. And now... um. This this game is difficult to, you know. Um, this game is like a series, wherein uh, it goes on for the longest uh, game that I had was uh, sixty five days, and uh, that was a, a game wherein I played as uh, the Philippines also, and I won after sixty five days. I had three wins here in uh, Conflict of Nations, so as you can see here. It's here's my stats. I went down to one point ninety nine. This was current. Previously, I was um at the three point sixty six level, but because of my recent defeat, uh, it went down to uh, one point ninety nine. And uh, my solo victories, I have zero. Coalition victories, I have three. Out of the six games, this will be my sixth game. So, I don't plan on micromanaging this game. I just want to uh, produce some contents and uh, create videos about the game. So, the plan here is just to enjoy the game and uh, check this from time to time. Set up commands and uh, I'll try to win the game. I am no longer expecting um, victories all the time because... Uh, it will demand a lot of time. If you want to win the game, you have to be online um, a lot of times. So I'll just enjoy the game and uh, record this. And um, 
will provide a story about uh, um, about the game, about uh, what's happening. It's 65 days, um, you know, two months worth of uh, playing this game. So definitely, there's a lot of things that's gonna happen. So okay. So I decided to play as the Philippines again. I just wanted to try something new. By the way, I tried to play Indonesia twice also. The first game I played as Indonesia was a loss. That one was recorded. Um, I have that in my YouTube video, so just you can scroll, you can scroll uh, um and uh, search for my previous videos. And uh, that video I was defeated, defeated, and then I uh, played it. I played another game as Indonesia, and I also lost again. But um, that was because I was uh, attacked by five players, a coalition. So I've been overconfident because, uh, you know, I'm confident with my skills. It's just that I've been attacked by five players. Um, I had some treacherous uh, allies. Whom, who actually switched sides. I was able to conquer Australia, the Philippines, as well as the Indone um, Indochina part. So that's uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia. Myanmar was also able to, um, you know, uh, the plan there was to attack Pakistan and uh, to eliminate Pakistan so I can join the strongest coalition. But then, instead of... Uh, that plan actually backfired. So instead of uh, me eliminating Pakistan, they helped Pakistan. So my plan back then was to eliminate Pakistan quickly so I can negotiate and ask NATO so I can join them. But uh, that plan backfired, so they attacked me, and it ended, it ended in a defeat. So here, um, I'm going to... I'll be... Um, not gonna be very aggressive, okay? I'll play low key and, um, you know, try to communicate with other players and um, use diplomacy as much as I can. Uh, I really don't like playing treacherously, meaning I don't want to betray other players. I don't want to, um, I don't want to you know, switch sides uh, frequently. That's not how I play the game. So I really don't want to commit to a coalition early because that will put me on a commitment. So normally my strategy is to wait and see. But the downside about um, that type of strategy is if you don't commit to a coalition, then there's always a possibility that you will be left out and you will have to play all by yourself so that's that's something that uh you know a good uh player also needs to consider so i, I don't think I, w I will have that time i'm only doing this for the sake of uh producing content and i'm sure that there's a lot of players who loves playing con so this video the videos that i will be uh, producing from today moving forward will be for the CON players. I prefer CON because CON has a, a slower pace, is a slower pace game compared to uh, Conflict of Nations. I mean uh, Call of War. Call of War is has a, a faster pace than Conflict of Nations and um, it's difficult to play Call of War without subscribing to a uh, premium membership. But in here in uh, Conflict of Nations, you can play without uh, paying for premium. I mean, that's just my observation. But of course, um, subscribing to uh, Security Council is definitely a plus for players. So if you have the funds, if you have money, then it's, it's always good to... Uh, subscribe and uh, uh, um, pay for uh, premium membership. Anyway, 
So, okay. So, here's our starting point. This is day one. So, we have the Philippines. I invited my friend Ayman to uh, join this game. Luckily, he uh, accepted and he will be uh, playing as Australia. So, Ayman was uh, a friend. Um, and uh, he's playing uh, Conflict of Nations. Um, he started this game earlier than me. And uh, he's, he's actually a veteran player also. So, let's check his stats. He is now playing as uh, Australia. Okay. So, let me check his stats. Okay, so it's uh he's uh, at zero point ninety nine. So he definitely improved a lot the last time we met. So I'm expecting that uh, we will be playing together, and we'll be uh um we will be together on the same coalition. So let me check diplomacy here. Okay, all right. down the volume okay so let's check the news okay so there's a war already happening so Myanmar declares war on South Korea Myanmar declares war on Vietnam okay so Myanmar is a very ag aggressive player we also have uh, Iraq who declare who declared war against Kuwait okay so a lot of war is happening right now okay so Myanmar declared war against Vietnam and uh, South Korea. So I wonder what this plan is. It's too far from South Korea. Anyway, um, so on day one, definitely you have to check your neighbors. You have to check the surrounding players and see who's the immediate threat. So let's check here, Rommel, Indonesia. So to uh get a uh, better um context or information about the players you will be playing with you just have to check your profile so indonesia is a good player as you can see he's at uh, 2.24 damn so um we need to be allies or he might actually wipe me wipe me out so Okay, I have an ally in the south, Australia, so we can both um, finish off Indonesia. Okay, let me uh, contact my friend here. Check Indonesia. All right. So Indonesia there. Um, we also have to check Vietnam. Let's see what he's capable of. Vietnam. Okay, let's just search for Vietnam. Okay, so it's a human player also. Vietnam is at 0 0.49, rank 11, so I don't see him as a, as a threat, but uh, let's check Thailand. Thailand here is a human player also at 0 0.65. Now let's check uh, China. China. I think China is from Germany. Yeah, that was his name, Germany Grazer. So, um, he's at zero point fifty-seven. No wins. Okay, let's also check Japan. Japan is in our north. One point zero two. So this one can is also a potential player. It's a good. It's a good player. So we may 
may probably create a uh, an alliance. We can create an alliance. Yeah, so another one here. No experience. Okay, so in my region here, the um the players that can pose a threat to us will be uh, Indonesia as well as Japan. So those uh, countries are the uh, immediate threat that we have to face within within the week. Okay. So I've learned from my uh, previous games. I've learned from the, the mistake that I had playing as Indonesia. First, um, one mistake that I had was that I did not mobilize I didn't mobilize um Orion or uh, the naval patrol aircraft. I didn't have any naval patrol aircraft. If I had this, I could have won. Because he attacked me with a uh, strong fleet. He wiped me out. Um my fleet got wiped out because he had uh, strong destroyers and um I only had uh, naval bombers that time. I could have wiped out his army because he had no, he has no, um, my enemies back then had no air support. They, um, they only had cruisers as well as destroyers. And uh, those ships are actually um, weak against naval bombers. So that was a miss. And uh, that's what I'm going to correct on this game. So I will be focusing on my navy as well as on my um Air Force, okay, but in terms of Air Force, you cannot actually, um, you have to decide what type of plane you will focus on. It's either you will uh, focus on strikers or, um, uh, I forgot the name, ASF or Air Superiority Fighters. Um, so, Right now, what I want to focus on will be the Navy as well as the uh, Air Force. I need to build ASF or Air Superiority Fighters so I can have, I can counter any um, uh, strong Air Force that the enemy may have. And then I will also have to uh, um, maintain a strong fleet since uh, we are a uh, an island nation. Okay. It is impossible to win without a strong navy. So we'll have to build a strong navy, the strongest um, that we can possibly build. And if we're going to do that, we might have to compromise our land forces. We have no choice because in conflict of nations, our resources is very limited. They have to conquer a lot of territories in order for you to... Uh, to gain a lot of resources and to produce um units and uh without if if you will not uh, build land forces definitely you cannot conquer other nations but that's that's the thing you have to learn how to um you will have to strategize and use the small land force that you have um as effectively as possible so Right now, I cannot uh, say uh, what you know um, what my immediate plans are, but uh, for now, I'll have to build up. Again, I will uh, take this uh, one step at a time, so this might take me a while. So, uh, right now, I don't plan on attacking any anyone or anything. So, maybe Taipei. Um, if I can secure this uh, nation here, I'll have a chance of um, having a uh, uh, an additional city for electronics, and then um, have a base to attack uh, China. So China is uh, something that uh, I can, um, you know, that I uh, uh, China is a, a nation here that I can attack. Uh, as well as Vietnam, but I have to be careful with uh, Indonesia. So, um, 
I think what we can do here is to create a coalition between Australia, Indonesia, Japan, and the Philippines. And then we can push inland, conquer the main, conquer uh, um, mainland Asia, and then into uh, Europe. Now, if Indonesia is good, is a good player, then it is a... Uh, he should be able to conquer or to capture Diego Garcia as well as um, Kerguelen Islands because um, the Indonesia is a very difficult uh, country to manage. It's, uh, it's very wide, open to an attack in, from the Indian Ocean. All right, so it's, it's very difficult to defend Indonesia, to be honest, compared to the Philippines. The Philippines is... Uh, Somehow, um, uh, if you're a good player, the Philippines can be defended easily. You just need to conquer Indonesia, and uh, once you have secured Indonesia, it will be difficult from any players from Africa or even from Europe to get to the Philippines because they have to they have to pass through Indonesia. But for Indonesia, Indonesia needs to secure the Indian Ocean. That's what is difficult with uh, playing Indonesia. Um, Indonesia has to secure the Indian Ocean. He has to conquer Australia. And then he has to uh, also conquer Thailand, Vietnam, and the surrounding countries within Indochina. The reason is because, yes, um, or he can also, um, you know, uh, set up diplomatic ties with those countries but yeah um i've lost twice playing indonesia because i really had difficulty monitoring or um securing indian ocean the indian ocean so imagine even if you have what i did back then was that i, I reserved some naval forces right here in this area but yeah um but then suddenly my enemies just you know um my enemies just appeared with uh, five ships in a stack and attacked all my cities here so it's difficult to defend them and sometimes it will take like uh, eight five to eight hours for your ships to uh, arrive and uh, to uh, defend the cities so that was a mistake if i had naval bombers i could have defended them easily so, and playing as Indonesia, you have to secure Sri Lanka, yeah, and also the the islands that I've mentioned here, as well as India. If you didn't camp, if you can capture India, you will always be exposed from an attack. So it's important that you capture India. So I played Indonesia twice, and I failed twice to capture India, on both games. I'm always getting stopped. In, uh, in, the, in India and uh, it has been my weakness ever since so okay so let's see what we can do here um, this game has lots of uh, uh, intensity drama and um, pressure and yeah this will also teach you a lot of patience a lot of uh, strategic thinking um, building relationship with other players that you actually don't know so you will learn a lot from this game so there um the nations that uh, the player server are uh, playing here in this game are the actual countries the actual existing countries um in the real world so there uh yeah Here's Africa. Also, by the way, if you are playing Indonesia, if you can capture Madagascar, that will be good. But again, that's gonna, that will be very difficult because look at the distance. So, And you have to make sure that you have a strong navy first before you can dominate this area here. If other uh, nations capture those outposts, then it will be difficult for you because you will have to declare war against them just to recapture those outposts. So it is important and it, it's advisable that you 
um, capture those outposts as early as possible. But, of course, if you do that, you also encourage them to attack you, right? So, instead of you uh, managing your, um, managing or focusing on your region for the first few weeks, then you are exposing yourself against Africa. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that you have to consider playing this game. So, you cannot just attack um, a certain country. You cannot just position your forces somewhere because, you know, um, there's a lot of good players there. And for some, they don't want, they wouldn't want a strong force near them, you know. Um, so, sometimes they will do preemptive strikes. So, okay. Now, um, we have two research available. We just uh, recently finished uh, researching F5 Tiger. So that's our, that's our um, ASF. And then the Hamilton class, which is our Corvette. So we have Corvette. And uh, that's the first. Um, unit, naval unit that uh, we will produce. Am I wrong? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Now I want to build let me see what is needed. I already forgot um, the requirements for uh, producing the units. So I may have to uh, um, refresh myself and get used to it again. So, okay, I'm gonna, I need to uh, capture or I need to produce Corvettes because I will have, I will have to uh, take Taiwan. I will need the resources that Taiwan has. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the forces in the bigger up. No, I'm not gonna do anything yet. So I'll leave them as is for now, until such time that I can put that I have the uh, units that I will need. So, for me to uh, produce a Corvette. I need to uh, have a level 2 air base or a naval base and then a, a level 1 arms capacity. So, yeah, we'll, we'll produce those. And uh, for me to. Yeah, for, for me to uh, produce naval patrol aircrafts, I need. Okay, level 3 air base, arms industry, level 1, and then, of course, the research. But uh, the P3 Orion level 1 research will be available by day 4. So, I have to wait until day 4 before I can produce my naval air, uh, my naval, um, my, what do you call this? The naval bombers. So... While waiting, I can start focus. I can start mobilizing air superiority fighters. So this one needs to have a uh, level one uh, arms industry. Also, I should have built the uh, arms industry first. Uh, well, the volume is too loud, but anyway, I should have uh, produced or um, built the uh, arms industry first. At least that could have I could have maximized the uh, the uh, resources that my cities will be producing, but uh, it's too late to stop. We cannot stop. So now I'll have uh, Puerto Princesa as my uh, main naval base. Manila will serve as my air base, so I will produce aircrafts in Manila. 
So Davao City, I will need to have additional uh, cities for my navy. I haven't decided yet. So I'll uh, start building. I'll start building the uh, arms industry. So they will be ready once I need them. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna research National Guards. Again, um I've said I've said this before, but National Guards are my favorite units. Uh, mainly because they're cheap, easy to, to produce. You only need, um, I think, eight hours to produce the National Guard. Yeah, you need eight hours only, eight hours and 40 minutes to produce National Guards. So it's very uh, efficient and very effective. Uh, you only need you also need uh, um, half of the resources required for an infantry or a national guard. So, national guard is very um, is a very efficient unit. And uh, also, if you will be losing a lot of units, it's it's better to lose national guards instead of the motorized infantry. So, yeah. So we'll. Will be uh we will start to produce national uh national guards once they are available. Let me check. It will only take thirty minutes to produce national guards. Um, motorized infantry. Maybe yeah. But uh, maybe not yet. Let me check what other units can we produce. Right? Let's do that. We have no resources for that. Okay, so we're not gonna research anything for now. We only have 49 um, rare materials, so we'll have to wait for more rare materials um, before we can mobilize or before we can do any research. All right, so okay, so that's I guess that's day one, and uh, I'll I'll do my best to uh give you um an update on day two or at least on a daily basis, and um I'm just uh excited to try my uh, new mic. I purchased a mic, and uh, I want to try and. Uh, provide a much a better quality in terms of uh, audio and uh, hopefully as I as I go along with this project I would be able to improve my um, my skills in creating content as well as in uh, in uh, talking because you know um, I, I, I know that I'm really not good at it at it yet. So also to improve my English vocabulary also. So anyway, that's for day one. I'll uh, provide you some update tomorrow. Um, hopefully by tomorrow I'll have more resources to uh, ramp up my research as well as my production for uh, Corvettes as well as National Guards so I can start my campaign or my attack against uh, Taiwan. So also try to build a uh, relationship or diplomacy diplomatic relations with uh, the men the uh, countries that I've mentioned Indonesia and Japan so I'll give you an update tomorrow so for those who are watching my videos uh, thank you for um, watching and um, for subscribing to my videos please like this video and uh, share this to your friends and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel
So that's all for now. Thank you and uh, see you again soon.